it's this gold biker on my way home. It's between 3.30 and quarter to 4 in the afternoon. Um, I went and had a late lunch at the restaurant at my friend April's restaurant. Then I went and visited my Aunt Grace and Uncle Bob for about an hour or so. Now I'm headed home. Um, town is behind us. We are almost a mile east out of town. There's my Aunt Louise's house. They ran a very large fruit farm for many years. Uh, it's gone now, but when my aunt's retired, she's down in Florida for a couple months. Let's see when she gets back, and that's the end of her property, and this is where my parents' property begins. And my mom and dad's house is right in those tall pines, right there. Here's their driveway. Bye, Mama, Papa. All right. We call these the S curves. They're very dangerous if you're not going slow enough. Obviously, I always take them nice and easy. Easy peasy. Oh man, on my way into town, I had to uh, use four wheel drive most of the way. But it's a warm day. It's in the high 20s, and so a lot of the snow and slush melted off. Thank goodness. Uh, when Nicole was about two and a half, we were coming right through here. I was driving 55 and it was nice and clear on a winter night. Got right up here and there was slush in these channels right there. I hit that baby and we slid back and forth and the more we slid, the faster we went. And we rammed head on into that big tree right there. Um, first took out the mailbox. The pole, the metal pole was so big, the cops thought it was my drive shaft. My husband goes, nope, that's the mailbox pole. That mailbox came through my window, driver's side window. I turned my head and threw myself on top of Nicole because she was sitting next to me in the toddler seat. Oh, sorry. I showed you too soon. It was right there in that house. Anywho, um, yeah. I threw myself on top of her to protect her, and then that mailbox came through that window, smashed me in the back of my head. If I just stayed straight, you know, to look at the oncoming danger, I would have had my face pummeled in and I'd be dead. But yeah, split my head wide open. I bled like a stuck hog. Nicole screamed bloody murder. There was glass everywhere. But once I got her outside and under the street light, I could see pretty much that she seemed okay. So I got her in the house. And it was after midnight. It was going on 1 o'clock by the time I could get somebody to open their door for me. And uh, took her coat off and seen that she was okay. That was the only hurt one. Thank the Lord for that. But right before we hit, I mean seconds before we hit, I screamed out, Dear God, please don't let Nicole get hurt. Those are my exact words. I'll never forget them as long as I live. It's been over 20 years. And I screamed that out, a fast prayer. And she did not have a scratch on her. She was covered in glass. Not one scratch or scrape. It was in her hair. It was down her neck. It was in her coat. She wasn't hurt at all. I'm just scared. And I comforted her. And she was fine. But anyway... Yeah, I'm long-winded. Got a flap, you know. Got a flap while you're driving in the country. And don't worry, I'm paying attention. I am not looking at my phone. I'm simply holding it and moving it. But my eyes and ears are on the road. Mind you, I'm looking straight ahead at the oncoming traffic. Or lack of. <laughs> okay, just because we're getting out here in the boonies and it's starting to get slick again, I'm going to slip it into four-wheel drive. We're almost closer to my road. Let me get up past that bare spot. I want to be able to make sure I can brake in case these loony bins up in front of me decide to brake quickly. Alright. Might hear a rattle once I engage because the drive shaft's going out. Yeah, I hear that nice rattle. It sounds like metal teeth grinding. Yeah, that's my drive shaft. Ain't that pretty out there, y'all? In the summertime. Oh, in the springtime, it's going to be awesome. You know, the apple blossoms come on and the cherry blossoms come on. In the spring and summer, it's so pretty. We looked at that house years ago when we were looking for a house to buy. It didn't look that pretty at the time. It just looked like an average farmhouse. But we decided to go with the fixer-upper, which we did. Well, we don't live there anymore. But, uh, yeah, the people that end up buying that pretty house there, they fixed it up, made it look so beautiful. That's a nice farm right there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm surrounded by farmland here. So, almost home. Okay. Now, in the summertime, I get my some of my 
my caterpillars out back there. There's a power line road back there. And I go back there and I get my caterpillars. Okay. Ooh, see, I put it four wheel drive. It's a good thing because they're breaking for my road right here. Here we go. Rosie would say, turn left, Grandma, turn left. She's in school today. Well, she's not now. She's at home, probably having an afternoon snack. Having a good old time. Today's Tuesday, so I don't know. Maybe I'll see Rosie tomorrow. Sometimes I get to see her Wednesdays after school. Sometimes I don't, so we'll just see what happens. Okay. Uh, little Michael lives there with his grandparents. Um, Dave and Tracy live there, and Debbie's in back behind them. And then right there's Chris and Thelma. Ooh, I'm going to drive around the block. A trailer burnt down over the weekend, or at least caught on fire. I don't know if it burnt down, but behind Chris and Thelma's. So, okay, we just passed my house. We're going to go down here to Clock Road, and we're going to go see, I don't know how they well they, but how well they plow in the wintertime. I usually don't go down this road in the off season. But now that there's houses back in here, they do need to plow to a certain point. They stop once they get to the last house, the plow stop. Okay. This is mine and Rosie's area here, more of a butterfly collecting area. Caterpillars, I should say. We watch the butterflies here, but we catch the caterpillars. Okay, here we go. Woo! Here's this guy that works on the semis. Alright, forget his name, but he's pretty nice. Alright, this is not a road. The people live back here, they made it into a road. Okay. It's gonna be down here. Somebody said it was a cream colored trailer. It's not that one, that one's intact. Oof. I haven't been down here since summertime. Okay, we're right behind Chris and Thomas right now. Okay, that's the cream trailer trailer right there. Yeah. Yep, I can see fire damage poking out of that door right there. See that door that's open? Where'd it go? Right there. See it? There's smoke damage on that door. But um, I see there's still curtains up inside. So it looks like most of the house is intact, which is a good thing. Praise God for that. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it was wiring or heater or what. This time of year, it's usually a, a faulty dryer or a space heater that causes fires in the winter time here in in my state of Michigan. All right. I, at first I thought it might have been that one, but no, it's the other one I looked at. Okay, this is a power line road. This is a road that's not really supposed to be a road, but now it is, I guess. Okay, my buddies live back in there. All right. This is the little dirt road that Rosie likes to drive her little battery powered truck on. Ooh, right on. Oh, I just love it when they plow their driveway and they leave all the clumpages in the road. thats They're not supposed to do that. I think it's technically illegal to leave chunks like that in a road when you plow. Okay, here we are. See, that's all the mailboxes right there. Anybody that lives on that power line road behind me has to get their mail right there. Mailman, let's not go down that road. Alrighty. Let's pull into the old driveway, shall we? Oh, there's some more trees falling right there. There's a lot of deadfall. That's why I don't use the woods to go to Debbie's. I take her on um, the side of the road and then her drive because it's too dangerous. Oh, plow came through here and plugged up my driveway. Ah, here we go. Let's break a trail. Woo. All right. You see, that's where I was when I pulled out this afternoon. Okay. Back at the homestead. Let's see what I can get myself into. Maybe I'll paint. Maybe I won't. Love you guys. Bye-bye.